Friday Night Flies brought to you live from your host, Scotty Boulder. There you go, Scotty. All right. Friday Night Flies, round two. Um, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it's uh, Friday Night Flies. We're in Spun Valley Sporting Goods, 1380 Birch, Birch. Street, Pemberton. Right. Also, uh, headquarters of Pemberton Fish Finder. We talk trend. Local fishing charters for Whistler and Pemberton. Yeah, looking forward to the ice fishing season. Yeah, it's been Around a long corner. fly fishing season, but it's it almost doesn't seem long enough, does it? Never does. Never does. There's so many different things to catch around here. Yeah. You so, guys, these guys wouldn't like it. No, no. No. Stay at home. Yeah, that's right. Just watch the videos. There's no fish in, in no. our rivers. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what are we tying today? We are going after another fish, steelhead. Yep. Um, so it's winter season, so steelhead in winter. Why not? So I'm doing a shrimp pattern. Yeah, what does what a steelhead like to eat anyhow? Things from the ocean because they're ocean-bearing trout. That's right. And what's better than shrimp? Who doesn't love shrimp? That's right. Put a little cocktail sauce on it. Oh, yeah, you got me. If you can somehow put a lemon on the end of the hook with it, yeah, I'm I sure. Go for that. Yeah, I don't know. Else. I would. <laughs> I have yeah. a couple hooks in my face. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's a known fact they go after red and. Pink shrimp patterns. I've even seen blue ones. Blue shrimp patterns. You know here what? And there. They, they it's anything kind of movie. Them. Yeah. I've seen them pick up leaves for Christ's sakes. Yeah. Really? No. But no. It sounded okay. good though. It sounded good at the time. They're yeah. orange and red. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> but there are a lot of shrimp patterns out there. Um, and this is my shrimp pattern. Um, should, should I take it down there? Yeah, no? let's just take her down and we can look at it. So this is a. Uh, a pattern that has a multitude of materials, lots of movement. We got UV in there. We got flash. We got expensive feathers, cheap feathers, all kinds of stuff going on in this thing. Yeah, that thing looks good. Yeah, it's it looks fun, extra right? good on the on the screen here. On the screen, that's good. I so I had a better light to light that up. So, you know what? Next week we're gonna have. LED oh, lights. That's right. These are all getting replaced. It's gonna and we're going to get them to put a couple extra ones right here. Right here. It's going to be right <laughs> in the house. Oh, 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 baby. Can't wait. Okay. So, how we make this shrimp. We go to the store and we ask for one. But if we're going to make it at home, we start off with a size 4 3XL uh, salmon hook. And I do them all the way up to a size one hook. Oh. Just a second here. My thread's all buggered up from my last episode. Adventure at the vice. So, Scotty yeah, thanks, sir. once we do get this sorted here, we will be tying it on. There we go. Okay, here we go. Off to the race. So, going to tie on deers. And we're going to be going right to the the uh, point, the point there. And then we're going to go all the way back up. And then we're going to make sure that we really tie down this head part um, this hook. hook is a split hook so we don't want that coming open when we're fish fighting a big steely next we're going to do the weight so I got some barbell weights here looks like a musical instrument you have there yeah I know right? not bad okay so we're gonna put this on the bottom so that the fly rides the correct way with the hook down. I'm right. just going to figure eight these eyes on, and I'm placing them on the shank just behind that split. Um, I'm leaving enough room so that I can create the tail and still be able to get to my hook eye. So you don't want to put it right up on the hook. In a second here, I'll flip her around, and then you can see. Boom! So we're back a little bit. 
All right, so let's get this thread. I got the worst bobkin here. It's loose. Is it? There we go. So first, so this fly we're creating backwards basically because its its head is in this direction. But uh, in fly tying terms, this is still the tail, I guess. So what I got here is some pink marabou fibers. And I'm going to grab myself a nice little pinch here. Talking about taking a nice little pinch, I might just take a little pinch myself. Fantastic. You yeah, got to get Skull on board here, man. Hey? Yeah. You got to get what? You got to get Skull. We're giving them a shout out. With that. Oh, that kind of hey, pinch. That's right. I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> we're looking for some corporate sponsor money here. What else? From Scott Dowell. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Toilet paper makers. <laughs> <laughs> we need some corporate money here. All right. So we're going to get this on nice and secure. I'm going to do one, two wraps right in front just to help her keep up. And then I'm going to go do my, I know this is not what it actually is. Oh, it is too. That worked out very surprisingly. At home, I don't have anything in the bags. All right, so we got some. Have you got a good internet provider from your place? I'm with Shaw. What's your upload uh, download speed? Is it pretty high? Uh, no, I think it's probably basic. Yeah, I hear you. Long as it okay, you so we got our, uh, our UV Chanel hot pink in the medium length. We've tied it on. And now we're going to work it back. So this is creating the inside layers to the shrimp. And as we're going forward, we're peeling it back, stroking it back. The delicate, soft layers of the inside, the thighs, the UV flash of it. Scotty Holmes is in the building. Hey, Holmes, how are we doing? All right, so I'm going to go back about halfway down the shank. Okay. City more. Brad's behind us, aren't they? Yeah. What's going on? So that's it for the UV material. Uh, yeah, sure. So that's really going to glow from the inside. And then. Next, what we got is some uh, pink pearl flash, and now I'm going to grab uh, one, two, three strands of that. Now, what we are going to want to do is have three of these extend out quite a bit past the end of our probably yeah a full hook's length. Past the end of our yeah, and then the rest of it we're just going to fold fold underneath, and we're going to leave it inside the shrimp. I'm going to just tie that on right on the inside, right on top. So that's kind of like the, the tentacles that are coming out of the the face of the shrimp. Uh, next is going to be some eyes. I'm going to do. I've already done them up ahead of time. But I'll show you how I did it with just one. I'll do part of it. Yeah. So what this actually is, is a clear intermediate sinking line. I had an old one that I don't use anymore. You can use mono uh, as well. Mono works. I like this. Works better. It works, works better. Way better. Oh, yeah. I, like, I've done the mono thing a hundred times. This has a nice Color flex to it as well as having a nice uh, stiffness. But you have to do a few more processes. With the mono, you basically just melt it back. Be careful, they might still be a little wet, and you just pulled my eye off. I, yeah. pulled your eye off so yeah. oh. I just made them. <laughs> I apologize. So, what you do is you melt the end, and then you take your UV goo, put a little bead on the end, and we're going to cure this. Yeah. 
uh, one afternoon. <laughs> so why I melt the end a little bit, it's it mushrooms the the end of the of the sinking line so that the UV has something to grab, otherwise it just pulls right off. Next thing you got is some black decker. So if you've been in your fly shop, you've probably seen this stuff. Um, it was traditionally used for the heads of Atlantic salmon flies. Mine's uh, container's falling apart. Let's not get lacquer everywhere. Um, it does get pretty thick. What I do with mine is I also buy lacquer thinner and I put some in the bottle and shake it up so that I get the right consistency that I want. And I'm just going to dip that UV end right into it. So that's giving me a black eye. You can try and color it with uh, Sharpies, but the Sharpies wear out, whereas the lacquer does not. It stays nice and bright. And uh, I had made a couple other ones. I'm going to see if I can dry this one real quick so that we can use it. Scotty Holmes got his fingers all over everything. Yeah, typical Scotty Holmes getting right in there. So, let's see here. <laughs> so, I had made some when we were sitting up. That one's sort of dry. They do take a little bit to cure. I usually go ahead and I'll make myself a whole, whole bunch of them and I just keep them at my fly tying station all at once. Uh, but we're going to be tying these on. And so this is sort of the pink tail that you put in is acts as part of like the mouth. So we want these eyes to come back to the end of that. And we're going to tie them on on top with the curve of the line going up. So that's one. And then we'll do the one that I just made. And hopefully we don't touch the end because it is not dry yet. Let's get positioned. That's good enough for this purpose. Now I'm going to tie them in nice and tight. Nice and tight. That's the one I'm afraid of. All right. I think Brad went and made himself a mono one in the background. Yeah, I was trying to keep it with the camera there. Mono works good too. Okay. It is a little bit of work. But I mean, I can. So uh, I got my two eyes. You can work it up a little bit more, but it's hard as a problem. No, that's not it. Positioned really well. There we go. So now you can see how the shrimp is starting to take form. And you really be careful of these pearl flashes. One or two. Get them all wound up here. If you pull on them, then you end up kinking them and they don't, uh, don't sit right. But either way, that's that part. Next, I'm going to take another quick peek at my fly here. So I did forget the one material at home, but I'm using a substitute, which is uh, craft fur. Now, what you really want to be using is the red UV2 bucktail. This is going to, this crafter is going to look the same right now on the vise, but it is not going to act the same. You need to use the bucktail for this next part because it's a stiffer material. Uh, actually, you know what I could use? Yeah. So, there, I got some other bucktail. I'll use the brown on the inside. But, uh, on my version, I do use the red UV2 bucktail. So, I'm just adding another little UV layer. And it also has the stiffness that you need to create the tail. So, this length is going to be coming just up over the eyes, just barely. And as you see, I don't have very, very much there. So I'm going to tie this right on top, and we are not going to cut the ends. We're going to leave them for after. So as you can see, it's starting to make 
the shape of the tail that we're going to be using. So we got that. Next we need the little claws. So we got some barred grizzly here. You're going to pull off two that are the same. One and two. And what we're going to do in the end is just push your fibers back and nip it off. So when these go back forward, now you got yourself a little claw. Unnecessary, but I like to do it. And I'm gonna do the other one. So when we go forward, we got a little claw shape. And we're gonna put one of these on each side. So I want them uh, to be just a little bit longer than the eyes. So I'm gonna peel off the excess feathers here. So I've peeled off my length. Might as well measure it up to the next one so that they're the same. And right there, and right there. All right, so let's get these in here. One on one side, one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> And these claws are going to add some, some, some movement to your fly. One, two, three. So we're got one on each side. Get rid of the tags. All righty. And then last but not least, we're going to do the top of the shell, which I use not last but not least. Next, we got to do a little, little skirt on it with this orange slapping. Slapping. So this is going to create a little bit of body in there. A little slapping outside the head. A little slapping. So we're adding the slapping for, for movement. And to fill in this gap here between... So take my thread right back to the, the beginning of, of my barbell eyes here. It's always bright in the corner. As soon as we start that camera, it gets busy in here. Okay. You know something, Blue? You got the synthetic stock for SPS? All right. Boom. So, so that also creates the legs on the underneath side. Now we're ready to cap this thing off. So I got Orange Lady Amherst here. And I'm using about a section that's about half an inch wide or a centimeter wide. And I don't want to fuss with it too much. I want those feathers to stay together. And we're bringing this so that it's just to where the eyes are. So I'm looking at we're doing it just at the eyes. Get the slap and all down on both sides. The skate sharp machine just started starting. It's hockey season, man. Okay, I'm going to go to the other mic. It's right in front of me. Okay. Mic chain. Mic chain. Mic check. Testing one, two, three. All right, so you got the Lady Amherst on there. Now the last little thing that I do is I have some ice dubbing in black. This is going to help me just to get those barbells all cohesive into the fly. So I'm going to just put a little bit of on, a little bit of dubbing on there. And I'm going to figure eight around those barbells. I'm going to go underneath all that tail. And there we go. So now we're ready to whip finish.
So that's that. And then the last thing we need to do is push this tail down. And crop it. And I'm just... So that's your finished prawn. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty darn sexy, yeah. It definitely looks better with that red uh, bucktail on there, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, the red, you can see how the red bucktail finishes the, the cap. So it helps to make the Amherst look more solid. Fills it out. Yeah. And it gives you the the definition between the, the inside body and the, and the outside shell. We call that the Grey Ghost. This is the, uh, the Grey Ghost. So that's your shrimp. That's basically it. Go up top, and here I'll put the uh, crop in. There it is. You're up top, bud. All right. So uh, you got shrimp on your chest. You got two shrimp on once your chest. again. It's Friday Night Flies uh, on Boulder, Spud Valley Sporting Goods, and Pemberton Fish Finder. And I'm gonna sign out by saying, "Up the tongue."